You're supposed to pull it? Applejack do it! Well, it would help if the harness was on right. What are you doing? I am simply lending a hoof for the chores, which I love doing ever so much. Well, if you're still interested after the festival, I can teach you all about it. But right now, I need to get the plowing done, if you don't mind. Not at all. <gasps> nice. She makes it looks so easy. I know. Isn't she fantastic? <laughs> Missed a few. What? I really don't You're still what here? Now, Rarity, you be careful. If you don't get the bucket just right, you could sprain a hoof. I am perfectly familiar with the apple bucking process, thank you very much. But while you seem to rely on raw power, I believe a certain amount of style is required. It's really more of a dance, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, she's gonna break a leg. Or not. Hey, she got one. Voila. Well, That's one more than I thought she'd get. Long on style. Thank you. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I have some more chores to do. Inside. He's creepy, when you think about Rarity. it. Can I ask you something? Oh, white friend, you can ask me anything. I've been meaning to ask for a while, and frankly, I'm sort of embarrassed. Rarity, do you think Applejack would be my date for the festival? Why don't you go ask her yourself? You're. Uh, why do. Like, almost every pony that is not the main character of the episode have to be so oblivious to everything happening. It gets annoying sometimes. Well, that was close. If you've come to apologize, there's really no need. What are you talking about? Let's dispense with the charade, shall we? Listen, I know you really want Trent to like you. And he does, despite some pony's best efforts. I swear I don't know why he's paying so much attention to me. And I don't know any pony who's that interested in farming. Not even me. Well, maybe it's time Trend met a real country pony. Shouldn't you be working on the festival instead of coming up with new ways to impress Trend? Oh, I'm sure you'd love that. Well, I have a new vision for the festival. And it's gonna be more country than the whole Apple family put together. Oh, my God. Oh. That one hit me across the face hard. Can you not do that again? Thanks. Applejack, what's going on? I'm too scared to guess. <sighs> Firstly, I just want to thank oh. you all for coming. Oh. Uh. Second, I know y'all will all adore my new festival theme. This is legitimate torture. Oh my god. It's ever so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Rarity, you aren't serious, are you? Well, of course I'm serious. <clears throat> Why wouldn't I be? Because you would never dress like that. <sighs> you like fashion and high society and fancy things. And I can <sighs> like plowing fields and hauling apples just as much. But you don't. How do you know what I like? Because I know you. Well, I don't think I know what I like anymore. As well as you think. <laughs> and I suppose it's just a coincidence that Trenderhoof seems so interested in country life too. I don't know what you were getting at. Well then I guess I'll just have to show you. Be my guest. Now, if you all will excuse me, I have a hoot a nanny of a festival to put on. I'm Okay, I think I, everything that can be said about this has been said. Model in the simple ways fashion show, you might think simple means less is more. Well, that just ain't so. If Are you, you not offended by this? Simple, simple, like, what mower the fuck? Is mower. mower? 
I, I, sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. What the fuck? Now, y'all go off and make yourselves look just like that. Who's our next model for the fashion show? Oh, you're trying Perhaps so hard. Cool. Who the hey is that? Is it Applejack? It is not, is it? Is this some kind of joke? Why rarity? Oh my god! <laughs> you think I was joking? Because you would never wear an ensemble like that. You like plowing fields and hauling apples. And I can like fashion just Oh, as okay, there are the freckles. I didn't think it was her first because I didn't well, see them. maybe you do not know me as well as you think. Fine, but I got a whole festival to plan. So if you're going to start modeling, just get on with it. This wouldn't affect me so much if one of them wasn't my favorite Life character, so I don't know what to think anymore. Celebrate it by looking just like me. Because my favorite character's been switched for the background, Tony. Oh my god. Pushy, Why that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever I mean good for you. I on the other hand couldn't care less how I look long as I get the chores done. Oh, is that so? Yes, indeed, doodle. <gasps> Not me. My mane needs to be perfectly coiffed at all times. Well, I'm amazed she even managed to make herself my look like that. So polished, you can see your reflection in them. My hooves are cracked and dry from working in the fields. I'm so fashion forward. I wear droopy drawers. I smell like rosebuds. I love being covered in mud. <laughs> what? the rarity I know. Oh, Applejack. Uh, I love being in You're mud. Insane. Probably knows me better than I know myself. I don't know what I was thinking wearing this ridiculous outfit. I kind of know how you feel. Oh, but you were just trying to help me see how silly I was being. And you were right. Oh, I can't get over the scene. Gorgeous on you. I wish I hadn't ruined it. Thanks. It's nice, ain't it? It's magnificent. Wherever did you get it? Oh, it's a uh, one of yours. <laughs> Only three gallons of boiling water and one ounce of detergent. Stat! <clears throat> I'm moving to Ponyville. Being the most interesting pony in Equestria is exhausting. I want to leave my exotic, exciting life behind and live on a farm. What? what? Well, that's real nice, but I sure hope you weren't thinking of Sweet Apple Acres. Oh. Uh, look, you're a fine pony, but, uh, well, I'm a... I think what Applejack is trying to say is that there's something unappealing about a pony who changed themselves so much just to impress some pony else. If some pony doesn't like you for who you are, it's their loss. Well, this is awkward. Not at all. In fact, I think I know just how you feel. What do you think, Rarity? Is it too late to go back to small town chic? Not if I can help it. Organizing the Ponyville Day celebration was one of the hardest things I have ever done. That mustache, though, it looks like just two pieces of but I like, an important paper lesson. cut out in triangles just pasted to their nose. Will like you for who you are. Snow, whatever you want to call it. Changing yourself to impress them. Whoa! No Wait, is she still nose. wearing that? Ah. Still didn't what think she'd be caught dead in that. Or Scootaloo. What the fuck? I can't believe these people are okay with doing this. It's practically a crime. Is that the end? That's the end. What the fuck happened?
Um. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to think. Like, it wouldn't have affected me at all nearly as much. But one of them was my favorite character, does it? And I don't know. Something about seeing them out of their element like that, and oh my god, that one scene. I love being in mud! Or whatever she said, that was great. Alright. The title makes sense now. Um. Alright. So, uh. Yeah. That was a nice episode, but I can see how it was easily forgettable. A lot of you told me that episode 13 was good, but it's easily forgotten in the grand scheme of season 4. I understand why. It was funny and it was nice and all that, but it didn't have anything hugely redeeming about it. Like, nothing really big happened. It was just a small little moral lesson and then that was it. So, I understand from everything else that's been going on in season four. I understand how this one would have just kind of gotten like not as much recognition as the others. But either way, it was still one of my favorite ponies of main characters, so So let's uh, go ahead and stop it there. So I hope you all enjoyed and are ready for the next episode. Bye! <laughs>